Good morning, my friends. It has been a while since I have done a Mills Mills on duty day. Not because husband hasn't been on duty, because he has, but because my life has been completely chaotic. This morning, I woke up, I brought Big Kid to school, and I went to burn boot camp, which has, was awesome. Today was body weight, which is not my favorite. There was a lot of squats. My fingers are still tingling from the pre-workout. It's raining, like you can see, and I'm sitting in the driveway. I was listening to my audiobook, but now I'm just waiting to go inside. <music> I just left the baby in the car just in the driveway. She's still sleeping and I want to run to Target. Well, that's not true. I put in a pickup at Target for cat treats. My elderly cat drinks a lot of, drinks a lot, I got myself a drink, eats these high calorie treats because she's old and decrepit and she needs them. So every morning I give her one of these treats and I ran out today. So I usually order them from Amazon, but I decided to try two different brands from Target. So I put in that order while I was hanging out in the driveway and we were just hanging out in the driveway because she was sleeping, but then I got the notification that it was ready to pick up. So we're gonna go do that, but I needed myself a drink. So I got my Ellie Pop and I wasn't gonna take her out because the whole point of staying in the car was so that way she didn't wake up. Okay. Oh, let's go. Let's go into a Target. All right, I just got to Target. It is raining. It is still raining. It was raining before, as we see. Little Mama here is still sleeping, which is great because she needs to nap. They just brought me my order. So I got two different snacks today. I didn't realize I got both delectable brands. Usually I get the churros from Amazon, but I didn't realize that I had run out and she eats them every single day. So this one's probably going to be better for my old decrepit lady. There's only 10 of them. These are just the tubes. This one's like a gravy. Um, and then because I have a shopping problem, I also got myself socks. But I don't know if these are the socks that I thought they were. As a millennial, I'm usually a no-show sock person and these are not what I thought they were. I wanted to get like itty bitty, like if this is my foot, like itty bitty. I don't think this is what I thought it was. This is not what I thought it was at all. I can do scary things. I can wear long socks. Upstairs, I am going to make myself a tote bag. And I just pulled up a design from Cricut. It's easier to be impulsive if you don't think about it. And I cut it out. I forget what it says already. It's a tote bag, so I was thinking it'd be for the library. Because I don't really know what people use tote bags for other than the library. Late Night Book Club. That's the one I chose. But we're going to weed this out, I think. This is my super fancy top quality station here. My sewing machine, <laughs> like. And now I can just sit on my unmade bed and weed this out with baby girl. Playing with my stinky slippers. Don't play with that. I don't know where my slipper has been. Lord knows I am always in slippers, Oof, but they don't belong on the bed. So we're just gonna cut this out. What are you fussing? Why are you grumping? I finished my project upstairs and so I came downstairs and I made myself a salad and someone's grumpy grumpy. Does anyone remember when these little salad bags, excuse you, you do not eat salad. 
when the salad bags were for like dinner and they were for a family and now I feel like they're individual. I used to put them in a big serving bowl and now I put them in an individual bowl like. What time is it? Okay, it's 3.13. We have to pick up Big Sister from school at about 3. We leave about 3.30. Uh huh. You have input, and then I'm hoping Chili didn't gets canceled. So. now because crunchy has become synonymous with anti-vax and anti-woke and all these things that I am not. I support vaccines. Homegirl here is fully vaccinated. I am fully vaccinated. My big kid is fully vaccinated. Ryan is overly vaccinated. I know. So am I crunchy? No, not anymore. But I'm sustainable. I don't want to use single-use plastic. I don't want to use paper towels. I want to be mindful of what's happening to the environment. But also, I am a newborn mom and I am struggling with my mental health. And sometimes you just have to balance it. It doesn't make sense for me right now to prioritize something that's gonna put more stress on me. My island is clean. I was like, I have time, I'm gonna clean the kitchen. And I did, and I made my coffee, and I gave her a snack. And now, I have three minutes to get to the school. So thankfully, we only live two minutes from the school, so while I will be a little bit late, there will probably still be cars in line, so it doesn't appear I'm as late as I could be. I have made it to the school, I'm in the line. No one knows that I just left the house two minutes ago. Good. All right, preheat oven to 375. All right, uh, remove pie from box, place pie on baking sheet. Fully bake, double crust, keep pie. This is one of the designs that I Cut out before we went to cheerleading practice. I've been trying to weed it, weeding it in the rain. I'm gonna press it. I did cut my little snakey a little too short, so I might have to cut out a new snake. I also cut out another one of these. They're magic, and I'm gonna put them on bags. Holy moly, it is another day, and it is still raining. 
Needless to say, I did a terrible job yesterday of finishing my Mills Spouse on Duty video. We made that chicken pot pie, which was just in the oven. I stuck it in the oven, oh lord. And then we went upstairs and watched a movie, which is every duty day. But Ryan did just get out of work. The cool thing now is if his duty day is on a Tuesday or a Thursday, I think, the next day he gets out early. So he just texted and he got out and he's out for the day, which is pretty cool. He's going to the gym. I'm leaving Burn Boot Camp. We did go to Chilean yesterday. I had a little chat with the director. I'm not super optimistic about everything. I don't know what I want to do. I still don't know what we're doing. But the cheerleading drama, it's okay. It's okay. We'll survive. We're going to go home.